My name is Peter Hickey and I am the President of the Institute of Advisors and I am proud of the fact that we are now in nine countries around the world. Our institute is setting the worldwide benchmark for a professional set of standards. Without a set of professional standards, we're just you know, in a boat rocking from side to side without a rudder. We need to have a set of professional standards. We need to have that rudder on our boat that sets us down the right course, that helps us to do a better job. There's been a huge influx into business advisory. We have loads of accountancy firms that are coming into the market. We've got bookkeepers coming into the market. We've got wealth planners. We've got we have retirees, corporate refugees that are retiring from the workplace and looking to fund their retirement through advisory. So we have all these new advisors out there helping small business, which is wonderful, absolutely fantastic. Small business needs that help. The problem that we have is that with all these new advisors, there's no set of standards. There's an influx of financial metric orientated people. In other words, people that think that you know, focusing on sales and profit should be the first thing we do as a business advisor. Well, the first thing we should do as a business advisor is have a look at the big picture, to have a look at strategic metrics. So we need to be able to learn how to think strategically, not as a first point. For financial metrics is really important, but strategic metrics comes first, understanding what's happening in the organization, understanding the business owner personally where the business owner wants to go and then understanding the landscape of the business and and being able to understand the big picture of competitors of market analysis of what's happening internally of employee and in systems as a business advisor we're not just focusing on the bottom line profit and loss we're focusing on support and health in some ways we're a psychologist offering support in other ways, we're offering hard advice on what they should be doing and we're almost a taskmaster helping them to go through. Um, sometimes we'll provide the answer. Sometimes we'll help the business owner find the answer. So a business advisor plays a complex role and we need to have a set of standards or a set of processes in order to help us to move from one step to the next with that uh, business owner. If you look over the years to the rise of, say, the coaching industry, and you found that you know, back in the 90s, business coaching seemed like a, you know, a good and fantastic profession to go into, but what's happened to the name? It's been sullied. Any profession with an influx of people that are relatively uneducated and without a guidance of a set of professional standards is going to cause disarray, discontent, and basically a poor outcome for the business owner. The role of a business advisor is to first and foremost look at strategic metrics, not financial metrics. Financial metrics is important, but we don't look at that as the primary first part of what we do. As a business advisor, we serve that business owner. It is our responsibility to help to inspire that business owner, to provide that business owner with the support uh, and the leverage in order to build and grow or manage their business. The other part we have to look at is the personal welfare of the business owner. And it's important always when we start is to have a look at what are the personal goals of the business owner and how does that relate to the business. So we need to educate and the Institute of Advisors is helping to define a set of professional standards that all advisors should be going through. And it's very important that we go through and we understand how to structure ourselves and what we're doing. What we also need to do is to have in place uh, a methodology to run inside our practice, to understand what our first step is with the client, what our second step, what our third step is, to understand how much we charge. Thank <laughs> you.